Hey family, you're watching Discovering Happiness with Manny V, where we bring reality to life, where we dissect it, analyze it, and try to find happiness within. So with no further ado, let's get started. Today's topic is quite interesting. I definitely urge you to hear me out for a minute. It's about our Indian parents who love to brag about their kids getting admitted to a certain university, whether it's UCLA, USC, or Harvard. It's more of a bragging rights status quo to show they have an upper hand in society. And I'm sure you heard these conversations happen over and over again, whether it's at kitty parties, weddings, or get-togethers. Here's an example. Oh, Sonita, you know my son Raul has got admitted to Ra Howard? Oh, that's nothing. My daughter Reshma has got enrolled into UCLA. As you can see, the back and forth bickering where it never ends, more of an upper hand, and also kind of unhealthy. So we're going to dive deep and talk about the pros and cons if some of these students, kids, or even college material to go to such high-end university and also see if there's an alternative for schooling for them. We're going to talk about the academics, suicidal rates in India as well, how it's hurting our community, and let's get started. The trend of bragging rights among Indian parents. How did it get started and why did it get started? I definitely want to say that India has that competitive mindset, the strongest of the fittest, where it's only about yourself and not the next man behind you. And it's pretty much ingrained with us from our parents that we are have to make it our own. And you've seen this among siblings where there's lots of competition occurring academically and much more. It has happened in classmates, co-workers, and the real world. And I believe that parents feel like their kid's success only makes their success better in society. And you can see a lot of parents are very pressured for the kids to be good at certain sports, certain academics, or certain things they should be doing in life, career-wise. And it could definitely take a toll on kids these days as far as the pressure is concerned. These types of eruptions has even gone down to social media where certain parents will brag about their kids or recognize their kids' achievements on WhatsApp or Facebook. And there's lots of bickering behind it where it never ends. It's unhealthy and it's really not good for society. As far as the root cause of India's academic competition, it's been going on for generations. I'm sure you've seen it in Bollywood movies where parents are ingrating these kids to bring in a certain grades. If they don't, they suffer the consequences or they ruin the name of their society and it's been going on for generations and lots of pressure involved with it and also it's not healthy for these kids it can definitely take a toll in them mentally I would say Bollywood movies have definitely set the tone or the trend for that competitive edge or that egotistic mindset and I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of these movies where parents will be on stage bragging about their kids achievements or academics in many ways and it's more of the brag bragness about their their own insecurity and they feel by showing who they are they could fulfill some of those loopholes and it's actually happening in our society as we speak today with a lot of Indian parents bragging about their kids in so many ways it's more of that insecurity about who they are their own success but they could fill that gap with their own kids' success in many ways somehow. And I just feel it's a wrong way to set the tone. And there's definitely an alternative methods instead of doing it that particular way. I also want to talk to you about a particular topic that's actually affecting a lot of the Indians in India where parents are buying their admission in certain university for their kids, especially kids that have low score grades. And I want to say this to the parents out there, where's the integrity in doing that? How do you actually sleep at night when you know when you're doing something wrong? As far as the kids is concerned, it's definitely putting them more pressure to follow a different career path. Perhaps these kids don't want to become just like you, a doctor or lawyer. Maybe they want to follow their own path and, and become leaders instead of followers. I would say that where's the um, choice between that? And why is there an obligation for these kids to go to such a high university when they might not even be college material? 
there's an example I want to give you guys out there. There was actually dozen of celebrity college admission scandals um, from celebrities in the U.S. I'm sure you heard of Lori Laughlin. She actually paid five hundred thousand dollars to bribe college admissions to alter her daughter's test scores just to get admitted to USC. These celebrities feel they need to fulfill the status quo or their inner circle to show that their kid actually went to a high elite schools. But at the same t token, Lori's Laughlin daughter actually posted a video blog how she was not even interested in higher learning to the extent it was more just a namesake or just to please her parents. Wow. Overall, there is definitely child trauma when it comes to academic obligation. It's more of a status quo or namesake just to fulfill our parents' desires for us to pursue a certain career or go to a certain school. It can definitely cause a lot of stress, anxiety, and resentment towards our parents. And by doing that, it's actually limiting our own self-growth, altering our destiny to become who we're supposed to be. Who knows? If you give them the right tools and the right encouragement, they could be the next Elon Musk or the next Steve Jobs. I just, I just feel if we let them be, they can make a bigger impact in our society to fulfill their true purpose in life instead of fulfilling your agendas or goals in life. I want to talk to you about another topic that's really has raised a big impact in my life. I heard about it. That's kind of troubling. The suicide rate for Indian students as far as fulfilling academic obligation. Believe it or not, in India, it has the highest suicidal rate from age 15 to 29. And most of it is caused by exam stress um, and also receiving low marks from an exam. The problem is that these kids only have like a day off for the whole year to themselves and they have a 14 hours studying schedule which pretty much impacts them in such a way where they are molded to only study and not think out of the box which is really hurtful and obviously it's caused a lot of mental stress. From a parent's point of view I can understand that keeping the status quo in society is important however there are limitations and it doesn't depend on your children's academic success rate. I would say for the most part if you want to brag Try to brag about your success or what you want to fulfill in life in the next three to four years, whether it's a career, whether it's a goal, whether it's a dream. Try to work on yourself a little bit more instead of just depending on your kid's uh, success as far as bragging is concerned. I can understand that you want to ensure that your child's future is successful without any struggles or hardship. However, you don't want to hand out everything to your child. It just leads to resentment and it doesn't lead to any success for them to grow as a human being. You want them to fail a little bit, struggle a little bit, and that's how they can define their their motive and also make a bigger impact in society. I would say explore with your child their innovations and support their passion and see what they want to fulfill in their life for a better tomorrow. As far as an alternative university, I would just say that some kids are just not college materials. I mean, just look at the social media influencer today, how successful they are and what the digital marketing is bringing to the table. I will say there's also trade schools and community college out there for kids that don't want to seek university. There's a lot of technical skill jobs out there that can make a big impact in society. And for those that want to become entrepreneurs, there's always networking, startup where they can get their feet wet. and see where their, where their desires can end up in, in life. Also, for those that want to uplift their skills, there are clubs out there to help you with your public speaking skills, such as Toastmasters. And there are a lot of online courses and classes that can help define or shape your skills that you want to use towards life. So with that said, there's lots of alternative ways to better yourself. Just find the happiness within there's not always going to be a, a way to desire perfection. I believe perfection leads nowhere as far as expectations concerned. So 
just keep a, a happy mind keep a blissed mind just let people be and we'll see how we can make this a better world for tomorrow thank you so much for watching please share and subscribe and like till then have a beautiful day om shanti